Today we're going to be running you through some of cast tackles, poppers and stick baits and how to work them. I'm going to run you through our range of poppers. We have three sizes, the 150 gram, the big dog, we've got the 100 gram and also the 60 gram. I'm going to cast around the 150 and show you how to work it. So I'm going to put a big long cast in. Wait for the lure to rest. Once the lure rests on the water, I'm going to take up the slack and just concentrate on really big pops on the water. As you can see, I'm really taking my time, winding in the slack, and then putting a lot of effort into popping that lure as big as possible. So that's how we work our poppers. And a quick tip there for you, if you're starting out, is to make sure you take your time. Concentrate on big pops through the water, and every now and then, throw in a pause up to five to 10 seconds. I can't emphasize enough the importance of slowing down the retrieve. Big fish, love it nice and slow. Next little lures I'm gonna be running through is our OG range of stick baits. They're in three different sizes, the 150 gram, 120, and also the 60 gram, both in floating and in sinking. I'm gonna run you through the biggest model in the range. It's the 150 gram, it's 250 mil long. I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this lure. It's got a massive presence in the water and it's my favourite. So first of all, we're going to let that lure rest and have a little bit of slack in the line and then just sweep the rod nice and easy. So a little bit of slack in the line, sweep the rod. You really want to get an S kick out of this lure. You'll notice if you get it right, you'll have a bubble trail through the water and you'll see that lure Get a nice S kick through the water column. It's really important to take your time and make sure you're getting the maximum out of the lure. With the 60 gram lure, it's gonna be a little bit different. So we've still got that little bit of belly in the line and it's a nice smooth sweep, but every now and then you can throw in a bit of a twitch. So really twitch that lure down. So keep the belly in the line and then twitch that Lure head down and you'll notice it'll go under the water and you'll get a nice twitch. The main difference with the sinking stick baits is that you don't need to let the lure rest. You're not gonna get that bubble trail through the water with the sinking stick baits. So make sure you keep twitching the rod or sweeping the rod in the same action as what we were doing with the floating. So next I'm gonna be showing you the fat boy range of lures. These come in three different sizes. You've got the 150, the big ones. You've also got the 60 gram and new little 40 grams which are awesome on the reef flats. The difference with the OG and the fat boy is you'll notice the OGs are long and a lot thinner than what the actual fat boys are. They're nice and thick and stocky. The other design feature that separates the fat boy from the OG is the flat deep sides which is going to give you maximum reflection of the chrome foil. You'll notice as you're working the fat boy lures, it's a tighter wobble and it's also a more erratic action but still giving you that big presence through the water. So a new addition to our stick bait range is the little 40 gram fat boy. Now this little lure is going to be perfect for those flats fish or for those kingies or tuna down south. So the first thing you'll notice with the little 40 gram is how far you can cast it. Really does get some long distance out of the cast on this 40 gram lure. There's three different retrieves. You can really erratically twitch this lure and it'll go all over the place. Just looks like a wounded bait fish. The other way is by sweeping the rod, the traditional sweep. 
And the next is by letting it just sink and then twitch it back. Let it sink and then twitch it back. And you'll notice when it sinks, it really does have a nice shimmy through the water. There you go, there's our range of poppers and stick baits. If you want more information, go to our website and you can go and check out all the colors, different sizes. And also on there, it'll have our range of terminals that'll fit each lure. Go and check it out.